it's Katie from All Saints Episcopal Church in Waterloo, Belgium, back with another video. And this week, our theme is worship. And some of us are back in worship in our building, just like we here are at All Saints. And you're welcome to come 11 a.m. Sunday mornings. But some people still can't worship in their buildings. And that's okay. We can also worship at home and with our family and friends online. And today in this video, we're going to talk about worship in so many different ways. We have a great reading from The Very Best Day, which follows the way of love for children. And we're going to do some crafts like paint some rocks. Those are kind of cool. And we're going to talk about how the rocks would shout out for joy, even if the people were silent. We'll sing a song about how we worship God. And we even have prayers that we can all pray together which is also a form of worshiping God. So I hope you stick around and have a great time and we'll see you soon. Hi, 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 hi everyone. Hi, my name is Gabby and I am a little blue puppet. <gasps> hi, Katie, hi. Hi, hi Gabby, I look at you. you. Yay. Um, um, Katie, Katie, can, can I read something for everyone? Yes. Are you gonna read from the very best day? Yes. I'm going to read worship. Great, go for it, Gabby. On Sunday morning, I got to go to church with family and friend. The sound, the song of the bells carried on the wind. We sing, we pray, we bow our head. With hands outstretched, we receive the bread. He gave his life so that we might live. It's his love and peace that we must give. The greeters and ushers show us the way. This has been a holy day. Sometimes we kneel, more often we stand. After worship, we play, our clothes covered in sand. There is time for Sunday school and a snack. We learn about Jesus' miracles. I can't wait to come back. Worship is holy, it's special and good. Want to come with me? I think you should. Hey, hey, Miss Katie. Yeah? What? What, what is your favorite part of worship? Wow, I love worship so much. And I think my favorite part is when we all get to sing together. What is your favorite part of worship? I, I love to sing and I love to, to tell stories about God and Jesus. And you know what? When I sing, do you know what I like to do? What? I like to do a happy dance. Oh, I love it. <laughs> I like happy dance too. Oh, oh, you do a good happy dance. Yay, yay, happy dance. Oh, I wish that we could be together so we could happy dance together, but this is actually kind I of fun to see you on the computer too. I love it. I forgot to tell everyone that I am in California. That's right. That's that is not in Belgium. I have never been to Belgium. Oh, will you come visit me, Gabby? Yes, 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 yes. Can I do a happy dance? You come visit me. You should come to church and we can worship together. Yeah! I would love that. I would love that too. I think we should do that. Oh, it was so good I to like see it. you. It was good to see you, Miss Katie. Thank you for asking me to read the story. All right. I hope you have fun at your worship when you go back to church. Thank you. I will talk to you another day. Okay, bye. Bye. Our song today is all about how we worship God, and lots of people do different things when they go to church. Some people stand up and sit down and clap their hands and do lots of different things, and we are going to sing a song all about that. Now, I'm going to need some help for this because there's lots of things to do when you're singing. So, here I am helping myself out, and it's going to get faster and faster as we go, so make sure you're paying attention. When we worship God, we do more than sing. When we praise God's name, we do everything. That's why we stand up, sit down, stand again, and clap our hands, shout loud, stomp our feet, turn around, and take a bow, sway. We stay. 
stand up, sit down, stand again and clap our hands, shout loud, stomp our feet, turn around and take a bow, sway, then we sit back down. When we worship God, we do more than sing. When we praise God's name, we do everything. That's why we stand up, sit down, stand again and clap our hands, shout loud, stomp our feet, turn around and take a bow, sway. Then we sit back down. When we worship God, we do more than sing. When we praise God's name, we do everything. That's why we stand up, sit down, stand again, and clap our hands, shout out, stomp our feet, turn around and take a bow, sway. Then we sit back down. One more time, super fast. All right. When we worship God, we do more than sing. When we praise God's name, we do everything. That's why we stand up, sit down, stand again, and clap our hands, shout out, stop our feet, turn around, and take a bounce away. Then we sit back down. That was awesome. This is Pavo. He really likes to make stop motion films. One of the ones he did recently is to a worship song and it's really cool. Let's all watch it now and maybe you can think of a way that you like to be creative and worship God at the same time. last week for our prayers. Oh, I think we should do that again, don't you? Totally. This week, though, we're going to continue our prayers that we've been praying for our teachers and nurses and the migrant camp in Moria. Um, Charlotte also mentioned she would like to pray for her grandparents and that she really misses seeing her teacher's faces, so she'd really like COVID to go away so we don't have to wear masks anymore. And for all people who are struggling right now and who could really use uh, God's love and support, and that we can bring that love and support to them as well. Let us pray. Thank you, God, for the gifts that you have given us, our friends and our family, and all of the things on this beautiful earth. 
We ask you, God, to be with teachers and our family, grandparents, aunts, uncles, all those cousins and people who we hold close to our hearts. We pray for the people in the world who may be suffering right now due to illness or depression or loneliness. We ask you, God, to, to be with them and to send people their way for help and support. We pray all these things through your Son, Jesus our Lord. Amen. When I was riding my bike to work today through the forest, I was going over all these bumps and all these rocks and different things in the way. And it actually reminded me of this Bible verse where Jesus talks about rocks. And I'm going to read it for you now because it's really kind of cool. It's from the book of Luke. And it's at the part of the story where Jesus has entered Jerusalem kind of toward the end. And everyone's cheering and excited. And they throw their coats on the ground for him to have a soft ride into Jerusalem. There wasn't anybody throwing coats on the ground for me to make it soft when I got to work, but that's okay. I can deal with the rocks. And it says in here, people were saying, blessed is the king who comes in the name of the Lord, peace in heaven and glory in the highest heaven. But some of the Pharisees in the crowd said to Jesus, teacher, order your disciples to stop. He answered, I tell you, if these were silent, the stones would shout out. I thought about that when I was going over all these stones, how the stones would worship if all the people were silent. And as you can see, I have some stones here. I actually collected these from my journey this morning. And one thing that I have seen other people do that's really kind of neat is painting stones and painting rocks to have little messages on them or just to have de decorations. So I thought that's what we could do today. So I got a bunch of these stones. I like how they're stacked up here. I'm going to stack them again and I am going to paint them. So all you need for this is some paint. I got paint ready here in this lovely paint container. I got two glasses of water for when I want to wash my brushes. So I got some brushes and then I also got some paper towels in case I spill something or I make a mess. And I even put down a piece of paper on my table so that I wouldn't get the table messy. So this could be something that you do with a parent or a trusted adult, or maybe even an older sibling who knows what they're doing. So I think I'm gonna take this rock here first and I'm gonna paint something on this rock. painted a red heart on this rock because it reminds me of God's love for me and God's love for the world. And also, it kind of reminds me of the prayers that we do here at church. So whenever I see this red rock, I can say a prayer about our family or our friends or people that we love. And even also that there's more love that can be spread throughout the world because so many people need love and so many people have God's love, but they can't see it too. So I will pray for that every time I see that rock. All right, I'm going to do another rock. This rock I painted as a rainbow. And this rainbow um, can represent lots of things. One thing that it does is represents God, God's promise to us, God's promise of faithfulness and love. And that also reminds us that um, God is so gracious to us and that we should be gracious to others. Also, a rainbow represents lots of different things just in our greater society. The rainbow represents um, the LGBTQ community, and those are a lot of letters, right? but they stand for different things. And they stand for people who are lesbian, who are gay, who are bisexual or transgender, or people who are questioning and also queer. And that's a, that's a lot to unpack right now. So maybe we'll unpack that another time, but I just want you to know that this rainbow represents that all people are welcome here in our church and in God's love. And I'm actually going to put this rainbow outside so that when people walk by, they can see it. And if somebody really wants to pick it up and that they can be reminded all day that God loves them and God's promise for them, 
I think that's okay too. So I'm gonna leave this rock outside. And then I'm gonna paint some of my other rocks too. And I'm gonna leave those outside as well for people who maybe they just want something happy and something that will remind them about that there's lots of happiness in this world, even though sometimes it can be a scary place. All right, so I love to see your rocks too. So if you paint some rocks, go ahead and send me some photos and maybe we'll put them in one of our upcoming videos. Who knows? Yeah, move your hands. Yeah. Uh, on the side, this is the waves. Mm hmm And the front is here. And if you can see me. Oh, it's a nice keel you got going on. Nifty. you but I'm probably gonna have that song stuck in my head for the rest of the week just saying and unfortunately this is the end of the video I know I don't want it to be over either but we will have another one next week so get ready for another story from the very best day some more songs some more prayers and some more fun with you I think it's been so fun having you with us and as always, if you want to turn in some prayers, you can email them to me and we can put them up on our wall here. You can also start your own prayer wall. Maybe you could have hearts and put them up on your wall and remember all of the people and things and rocks and trees you would like to pray for as well. That would be so cool. So go ahead and um, send me your prayers. Send me photos of the rocks you've painted or maybe back in the Lego episode or any of them that would be so great to see what you've got going on all right so until next time you have a great week and we'll see you soon hey, hey, it's Sunday.